So today I'd like to talk about our new WYSIWYG editor. WYSIWYG stands for What You See Is What You Get, and it's a way to add content to your website. If you've ever used this editor before, the first thing you might notice is it looks a lot different. So today I'd like to go over our new layout and what the buttons do. So let's start at the top left, you'll see the source button. If you click this, it'll show you the HTML formatting behind your text. To the right, we have the preview button. If you click this, it'll bring up a browser window that shows what your content looks like online. Next, we have the standard cut, copy, and paste buttons. We've also included two very important buttons, the paste as plain text and paste from Word. This button is especially important because Microsoft Word likes to format its text. So if you copy and paste directly from Word, the formatting can confuse the WYSIWYG editor leaving an unwanted uh, look to your content. In order to get around this, all you have to do is click the Paste Some Word button, and then copy and paste your text directly into this box. This will get rid of the unwanted formatting and leave the plain, clean text. Next, we have the Spell Check as you type, and the Undo Redo buttons. To the right, the binoculars is defined as a specific word, and of course, we have the Replace button next to that. The square is used to select all text, and we have uh, an eraser, which will remove formatting, which can be extremely useful um, if you've used headings or styles that you now want to get rid of. You can just highlight the text, click this, and it'll leave the plain, clean text. The last on this line, we have the link and unlink and anchor point buttons. If you want to link a specific text like we did here, you just highlight the text, hit link, this box will come up, you can paste in the URL in this box, and then just hit OK. And now it'll leave the link text. To get rid of it, you just hit the unlink button. The second line, we have standard bold, italics, and underline buttons. So right of that, we have the strike through button and the subscript and superscript buttons. A very handy tool we've added is an insert or remove numbered lists. If you click this button, it'll automatically create a list for you. To the right, we have indents to increase indents or decrease. And if you're using a large quote, you can use the block quote button. And these boxes is used to justify text. Now to the right, we have a uh, very important button called the image uploader. We had this before, but now this looks a lot cleaner and it's a lot easier to use. All you need to do is go to the upload tab, click browse to find your image, hit send to server, and OK. And of course we don't have anything, so that won't come up. You can also link directly from pictures that are already on the web. And if you want to change the width or height or add borders, you can go to image info. Then we have flash and table buttons. You can also add horizontal lines, or if you're dealing with large amounts of content, or if you're printing, you can uh, insert page breaks. At the bottom, we have styles. If you want to add a specific style to your text, we can add headings, and of course change the font or size of your text. Lastly, we have the text color and background color to change the color of your content. And show blocks. And lastly, if you're deal dealing with a large amount of content, you can use the maximize or full screen button, which will uh, make your editor full screen. At the bottom right, we have how many words you're using, and I'll show you how many characters you have and it can change the dimensions of your editor. So this is just a brief look at our new WYSIWYG editor. If you'd like to find more information, go to www.tendency.com help. Thank you.